Hello again my friends, Bungie's latest blog post sheds a little more light on the studio's plans for their Destiny 2 gameplay reveal on May 18th. So then, here's what Bungie said. This week at Bungie, we're setting the guest list for the Destiny 2 gameplay premiere. As you might expect, it's a pretty big deal for us. Builds are being deployed and reviewed. Bugs are being identified and squashed. Our people are getting prepped to stand on stage and put on what we hope is one hell of a show for you. We're getting butterflies as we count down the days. We'll be live on May 18th. We hope you'll join us. You might have noticed that we're inviting some special guests from the media and our community to be a part of a live audience for this premiere. They'll be among the first players to get some hands-on time with Destiny 2 immediately after the conclusion of the live stream. The PS4 and PC versions of the game will be on display, so you should expect another wave of news, coverage and content to dig into after the event is over. Now, thanks to you guys and your unwavering support of this channel, I've been included among those being invited out to play Destiny 2 and better yet, capture actual gameplay for you guys. Now, let me just repeat that. Actual game play. So then, after Bungie's livestream ends, pop on over to this channel for some exclusive Destiny 2 gameplay. Now, your boy Papa Console has been sitting on this information for a whole agonizing month. That's right, I knew about this invite back in March, but wasn't allowed to say so until now. As you can imagine, I burst several blood vessels trying to contain my excitement. But like I said, I can now talk freely about this event so let's talk about it. Now, in order to build even more hype for this event, Bungie sent out this mysterious little box to numerous content creators and media outlets. Inside the box, an invite to the gameplay reveal, and something else too. This rather ominous message, welcome to a world without light. In the bottom left corner, a dead ghost. Even the cute little pin badge attached to this card is a ghost devoid of light. It's quite literally black. The symbolism is unmistakable. After all, the Traveller, in its dying breath, creates created ghosts to seek out those who can wield its light as a weapon, guardians. But now we face a world without light, and this raises many questions. Where did it go? What will we need to do to get it back? And are guardians helpless without it? Now we know that Ghoul, the commander of the Brutal Red Legion, led the overwhelming invasion force that destroyed the city, and in doing so, managed to strip guardians of their power, forcing them to flee. But how did he do this when so many before him failed? Well, Destiny's Grimoire cards reveal that the Cabal are aware of the connection between the Traveler's light and the Guardian's powers, so it makes sense that they'd attempt to break this link. Now, the reveal trailer clearly shows the Traveler in distress, a pulsating red glow emanating from within. Is it possible that the Cabal have found a way to block the Traveler's light? After all, what else would explain the Guardian's sudden loss of power? Perhaps the opening chapters of the campaign will see us trying to find new ways of harnessing light. Remember, Bungie's official plot synopsis for Destiny 2 states that Guardians will venture to mysterious unexplored worlds of the solar system to discover devastating new combat abilities. It's likely then that the search for a new power source independent of the Traveller will be a major new element of the game. It's even thought the Guardians may also attempt to harness the power of the darkness. Let's not forget, Bad Juju is built around a darkness-infused frame, so we know it's possible for Guardians to wield the darkness without becoming corrupted by it. At the moment, this is just speculation, but we do know this. We now live in a world without light. Guardians have been stripped of their power and must discover new combat abilities to stand any chance of defeating Ghoul and reclaiming the city. Expect the opening of the campaign to focus on this search for a new way to harness power. Now, there's something else on the invite that caught my attention. This. Hawthorne. It's the city where the gameplay reveal is being held. Now, does that name ring any bells? If not, let me play you a clip from one of my earlier Destiny videos. Check it out. Hello again, my friends. Now, since the launch of the Collector's Edition of Destiny 2, people have been asking me who Hawthorne is. Now, I had to do a little research because Hawthorne isn't actually mentioned on any of Bungie's official sites. However, pre-order sites like GameStop include an additional piece of lore that ties into the Collector's Edition, a new character. Her name is Hawthorne, and this is her story. Born in the city, Hawthorne left as a teen to seek a life of freedom in the wilderness outside the safety of the walls. She survived for years outside of the Guardian's protection and has come to learn her true purpose, to provide shelter to humanity by helping them not only survive, but lead a better way of life. So then, like I said, Hawthorne ties into the Collector's Edition of the game. The Frontier bag that comes bundled with this edition is the same bag carried by Hawthorne and explains all the odd little survival trinkets the bag contains. Hawthorne, after all, has survived in the wilderness without the protection of the Guardian, so she knows her shit. So then, the Collector's Edition Frontier bag makes a little more sense now. Bungie has tied it into the lore of the 
the game. And remember, in Destiny 2, Guardians have been stripped of their power by Ghoul and forced to feed a city. Having a Frontier bag would certainly be a useful survival tool. As to whether or not Hawthorne will appear as a character in the game remains to be seen. So yeah, it seems as though Bungie named Hawthorne after the city in which the gameplay reveal is being held. So, you know, yeah, that's a, a little bit of trivia for you. You know, Papa Console dishing out trivia bombs, yo. Alright, I'll fuck off now. And just in case you felt sad when you saw that poor little dead ghost on the invite, fret not, ghosts will return in Destiny 2. Nolan North, the guy who voices the ghost, confirmed this in an interview. Check it out. Can I put you on the spot also <laughs> right now? Sure. Uh, there was just the teaser trailer for Destiny 2 released yesterday with a full trailer coming, I believe, tomorrow. Eyes up. Are you involved in Destiny 2? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but you know what? It, I just did, so... So, yeah, I think that'll do it for this video, my friends. But just to remind you guys, on May 18th, tune into this channel for some exclusive Destiny 2 gameplay. And building up to May 18th, I'll be giving away some early access Destiny 2 beta code. So, for a chance to win, be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. And if you want to watch some more Destiny 2 content right now, click this image. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for heaps more Destiny content. And thank you so much for watching. And as always... Hatee hee hee. Until next time, Guardians.